Hong Kong for us was cultural desert. And November rain, you know, I'm trying to make it rain so flowers could grow from this desert. And Hong Kong could be what it used to be. My name is Gareth. You've caught me in a pretty tired mood because I've been up since like nine. And uh, we just finished this uh, filming for this little music show. And then we did dance practice. Try to do a, like a fight camp. You know how like fighters they kind of have six week or eight weeks or four weeks training camp. And I, I was um, when the show was announced. I think I was at the six or seven week mark. So when, that's when I started like running and I did boxing and that was when I started dancing as well. So it was like a routine where I danced like two days a week. I boxed two days a week. I sang two days a week. And uh, every day I would just play piano and violin and stuff. I mean, it goes back to the first KV. Because the first KV we had was, I mean, even with the KV now, I was, I'm in the center. I look semi look like an action figure. Like it's almost fake, almost seems fake. And um, originally we was trying to do the metal arm. I, we were trying to do a toy figure with the metal arm. And it's a homage to Akira. Cause we, cause I was watching Akira when, when they was like, yo, what about doing the metal arm? I was like, yo, let's do the metal arm. It's like, it's cool. The robot arm was an idea he had way back when we were, you know, first talking about what the concert should be about. Um, he wanted to be like a lone wolf kind of hero or anti-hero. How do we iterate this idea of him being kind of like, like a cyborg basically, him and also with his superpowers and how do we show that visually? Superpower meaning like the, the metallic, really strong arm, but at the same time, he's him, um, you know, singing his story. So uh, that I think is a great way to visualize the idea of him being like an anti-hero in, in the, in the industry and also like a new voice. But I think what will be unusual is after this concert, I feel like a, the perception of me might change a little bit for a lot of people. Cause this whole set list is really cycles around hip hop music and, and you know, like pop music and like some R and B and soft, uh, like emo pop music, which I made back in when I was like 17 or 18. So a lot of those songs were redoing. And I think a lot of people haven't heard those songs and they haven't like experienced the side of who I am. So, you know, a full on like two hour-ish concert. I think it showcases every aspect of my musicality. <laughs> I mean, me and Jerry met, I think, a year and a half ago in Soho House. Like, he was DJing and I kind of just bumped into him. Nothing really special, but like, as we saw each other more in events, I was like, you know, why don't you just come style my concert? I'm layering, you know what I'm saying? 
唔係，我哋仲有嘅，我有啲 pots 嗰個格仔可以裝黃豆腸。You know what I'm saying? Of course. I say this and I say. You know what I'm saying? Hahaha. 我見都唔得啊 ，Jerry 哥。中間。少啲見咯。少啲見，好啊，少一見啊，就知啦。裏邊唔著衫，唔係裏邊有聽 talk 噶嘛？我哋。唔係，但係你唱到，你唱到咁上下，你睇下有冇啲見到。哦。但係雪嗰件幾靚喎，入邊反而嗰啲好似。唔係，但係你點都要除出邊嗰件。你係會想唱嘅，佢平時。因為好難入嘅，我哋嗰度係。係啊，你係可以。出邊第一個，但係其他就可以成班。係啊。I can see that coming like right like at the at the at the beginning, you know. But I didn't I didn't know like he's gonna make it in Hong Kong. I thought he's gonna make it like. Maybe in the stage, some somewhere else, you know. Hello, you're not red. You're not black, right? Why? I thought you were black. 咁我哋咪一樣咯個頭。啊！等陣我要睇先，我要睇先。Yeah, he's supposed to be blue, and yeah, I don't like. We don't like doing wearing couple clothes or doing the same thing because we're different. But now everybody's gonna think that we did it on purpose, and I don't like that. His determination. He said that thing. 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 What makes Gareth special? I think it's that you know he it's he came into the scene at such an interesting time in Hong Kong. You know he came, he showed up with his English songs, and he um, was just being himself. You know, was being his most authentic self. This week is when I see everything start coming together. Dancing and the music. It feels like a long time coming. That's what it feels like. Cause you know how we started dancing like four weeks or like five weeks ago. And now it's like on stage, it's like, it's gone. Like all the, you know, two week, three, three day practices a week. It's just gonna go in a minute on stage. I have to like hold on to the moment and not let anything fly by me. Like I have to live in the moment. I have to live at every like move that I make. So I should I should just like stop. Like more abruptly. Like every time you sing, make sure your mic is. Okay, in the middle. All right, I got you. I make music too, and I, and and when you make music, you understand like you know what's difficult to do, like what what you know some people work years on and still can't perfect. And sometimes when you hear like a young artist get all that, then you know either either he he's unlocked everything or it's like yeah, just a very strong potential talent. We did full dress rehearsal today, 
show is tomorrow. Honestly, yeah, I was quite surprised. Like this, as the first run, I feel like my first emotions are surprised. So tomorrow, um, I think knowing that, knowing how all the things maneuver, I'm gonna have a better job of coping with how everything moves. Because today is so honestly a surprise. Like I didn't know, like, damn, these flowers are gonna be here. I didn't know how big the snow was, but um, I think we're, we're gonna know about that tomorrow. So. So tomorrow will definitely be a better performance and I will aim to, you know, fix all the mistakes that we had today and um, yeah, looking forward to show day tomorrow. Uh, today's the first day of Gareth's concert, uh, November rain. First of three days and I think we're a few hours away from uh, him going on stage. I'm out here, man. Peeve and Garrett's like the first fucking show, man. He ain't a virgin no more, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Um, excited for that. Trying to see how he fucks up, you know what I'm saying? I'm done shit. I'm done shit. I'm fucking excited to peep like my boy finally like doing his own thing today. So um, excited, happy for you. Kill it tonight, boy. Whoa, 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 look who it is. I'm doing my best to be the best me I can be. The best me I can be. One, two, one. What the? What's up? Go ahead, on. I feel like a lot of people put their money on MVs and MV, like monies on whatever it is. Like, but the trick guy in my mind, I feel like the, the main thing for like, an artist is, is these shows. Like, like a show is the way you tell your story. You know, oh, yeah, like yeah. this is where the budget goes. Best kept secret in this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best kept secret in this. I'm that new class you've been waiting for. I'm that just gonna start. Yeah, I want it all. No questions
doing what I used to do when I was a little kid and but bringing it to a new like stage. I feel like it's been a long minute. I mean, I don't think it's been done before in Hong Kong, like playing classical music in a pop show, but like somehow it doesn't seem like too disconnected. It pays homage to definitely to my earliest memories of going to shows like this, this show. He is the greatest artist um, to have ever appeared in Hong Kong. This is massive. That was my first thought, and I was like, I saw this place, and I was like, yo, one day I'm gonna fill it up. But then I filled it up after a year, so that was pretty quick. I wouldn't say it's unexpected, but I would say it's definitely heartwarming to know like people actually, you know, want to come show support and like watch the show and you know, like they they like my music, which uh, I'm I'm pretty grateful. Uh, That's it. Ten tops for everybody, like, but blue jeans kind of like paying homage to Eminem and like NSYNC and people like that. I feel like that's like easy, but it's effective. You know, the 90s inspires me a lot, like with the music and stuff like that. And which I think the whole, you know, scenery and the set of the, the stage fits a lot. Like, you know, there's like a, there's like a, you know, late, late night show uh, set and there's like a bedroom set. That's like a street set. It's like, it's like a musical basically. We have this special session where we're gonna have a bunch of gear of lookalike clones on stage. Uh, homage to you know Eminem, Slim Shady, and yeah, I think that would be quite a special. Yo, congratulations.
That's good, man. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm fucking too paid for us to be doing this shit, man. Yeah. Fucking. Let's go, man. Yo, I, I was like, I saw, I saw y'all fucking screaming. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with my account. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna continue to work on that shit at the top. Y'all, you were, you fucking sweating. You fucking jumped. Yo, it's turning up, man. It's just the way you do a show. Like, there's different elements of it. It tells a story. It's like my story, you know? Like, and I feel like a lot of shows in, in Hong Kong at least don't tell a full story. They don't tell the artist's own story. And I brought, I feel like in my opinion, I brought everybody, everyone back to the beginning and took them all to wait, all the way to the current moment. So I think, um, yeah, that's the premise of the concert. And I hope they walked away with, I mean, bare minimum, I hope they walked away with a better understanding of me. I mean, a bigger walk uh, takeaway, I guess, is the fact that the November rain is real. And if you're not soaked, you're probably fucking missing out. <laughs> I don't sing R&B, don't try to label me But yo, I'm, I'm, I'm like probably like having a hamburger and like eating it while they fucking ask me questions I'm like, bro, I'm just like, yo, y'all better stop But just to turn to other shit Just writing stories honestly So there's no maybes left to be That's when you lose how other shit Tell you should lose how other me You've been blessed by the November rain